Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we got some big news in regards to the brand new ranked battle rules that will be kicking in series 13 on the 1st of September. This might have some big implications towards VGC, the official circuit as well, and maybe indicates what the rule set will be going into the brand new season when that starts in September. And we'll discuss everything in today's video, go through the new rule set, what the implications are, and have a look at some of these new Pokemon that we're gonna have access to. But before we get into it today, make sure you drop down there and hit that like button. Also, if you're interested in this sort of content, like it, then do subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of this content. So earlier this morning, we had an update from our good friend Joe over at Cerebi posting a update on the new rules. You can see here, Pokemon Sword and Shield ranked battle series 13 rules announced, allows all legendary and this is the big one, mythical Pokemon with no restrictions. Runs from the 1st of September through to the 31st of October. So not a massive amount of time, two months. But remember, come November, we will be getting those brand new games, Scarlet and Violet. So the the rules will be shifting around or thereabouts that time anyway onto the new games or we expect them to. So if we take a further little look at the new rule set, like I say, we've got the dates for when it will be applied from the 1st of September through to the 31st of October. Uh, the restrictions for doubles is what we're going to concentrate on the pretty much standard across the board though for singles and doubles if you're interested in singles as well. Uh, available national Pokedex uh, if they have the Galamark or Battle ready mark so that's the mark that you would get when you go to Winden and you can talk to that NPC character and you'll put the the battle mark on from a Pokemon traded in from another game uh, then you've got Pokemon limits team of four to six Pokemon kind of standard level from one to a hundred which we know kind of standard VGC or doubles rules all Pokemon then set to level 50 20 minute timer as normal your time's going to be seven so not really much changing there and 90 second timer for team preview and turn time 45 so all pretty standard stuff as we know so we'll get into the juice of it the 13th ranked battle series focuses on pokemon of the gala pokedex the alabama uh, pokedex and the crown tundra pokedex and any other pokemon obtainable in the games it allows you to utilize any number of restricted legendary pokemon so any number of the restricted the box art legendaries your rayquaza kyoga groudon you could have all three of those in the team you could have even mewtwo on top of that and all of them you could have a team full of restrictors if you want pretty much just in, in layman's terms and for the first time this is the big one allows the use of mythical pokemon now in vg in doubles ranked we've never been able to use mythical pokemon before there's always the premise that they won't allow them because they're kind of gift pokemon so it puts a lot of players at a disadvantage because if you've missed an event for a mythical pokemon then you're not going to be able to kind of utilize them in an official format so Hopefully this indicates as well that we will be getting some events happening in game soon to get and obtain all the mythical Pokemon, making sure that all the player base has a fair chance to be able to obtain these. It would be a big indicator, just knowing from what the Pokemon company's kind of remit is from not allowing mythicals in the past. Now, if we go down here, we've got a full list of the restricted Pokemon that are gonna be able to be used and the mythical Pokemon as well. You're gonna have got Mew, Celebi, Jirachi, Victini, Heldio, Genesec, Deance, Volcanian, Magiana, Marshadow, Zeraora, Mel Metal, and Zarude. So we've got a huge bunch of all of these mythical Pokemon that we're now gonna have access to. And you can see here from the update on the Pokemon Home app as well, where this news kind of broke, you've got a list of all of the restricted Pokemon, including like your ho Ho's, your Lugias, your Mewtwo's, Pokemon like that, your box art legendary, and then all of the mythical Pokemon that are going to be accessible in Pokemon Sword and Shield that you're going to be able to use, which we've just went through a list as well. So also just a side note, if you want to get these rules in game, you can come into your copy of Sword and Shield right now, go into the menu, into the Versus screen, and then into Battle Stadium. This will connect you to the internet, as you know. And then when you come through to the next screen, you'll be able to go down onto the download rules section, which is here. If you just click on here, this this section it'll just automatically update your 
individual rules that you've got downloaded to your system. And this will give you access to the new rule set, the season 13 ranked battle rules, which will allow you to start playing games in game right now with friends, obviously tournaments as well and uh, without having to wait till the 1st of September until this rule set is actually implemented onto the ladder. So if we go over to Pokemon Showdown, I've got a full list of all the mythicals that we're gonna have access to in the game that you're gonna be able to use. I've just kind of quickly went through um, some of the, the more highlighted moves that you'll be able to use with these Pokemon that might be interesting. So Mew is gonna be a huge Big, big player, I think, in this. Mew's great. It can learn any TM in the entire game. So you're gonna have access to a bunch of different strategies with it. It obviously gets transform. One of the big ones that I like, level up move. Transform is something that is very, very useful. You're gonna be able to transform into opposing Pokemon or transform into partner in Pokemon if they've boosted up. And it also has speed control in the form of Trick Room. Uh, it does get, I just wanted to drop this in because for VGC kind of specifically, Body Press Iron Defense is a pretty big kind of part of a lot of strategies. And Mew is one of those Pokemon that gets access to that. Also gets Soft Boiled as well. So it has a form of recovery. So Mew is an exceptional Pokemon with those base 100 stats right across the board, which is kind of common in a lot of the early mythicals. Celebi as well is there. Uh, it also gets access to Trick Room. It's got a bunch of support options. I don't know how prominent Celebi will be, which makes me a little bit sad because Celebi is definitely one of my favorite mythicals, but for competitive purposes, we might not see it too much being that psychic and grass type as well, which isn't the best of typings. Gonna get uh, Jirachi as well. Uh, we've got Seren Grace, we all know about, or maybe you don't know about, but obviously the chances of the flinch happening are boosted by Seren Grace. That might transition over into doubles as well. Uh, you've got Victini as well, psychic fire type, very good typing, gonna be a big, big mythical in this format. You're gonna have big threats like Melmetal, you're gonna have Zashin probably still kicking around, and Magirna as well. With that fire type in that Victini offers it's going to be a very strong opponent and it uh, also gets its signature move V create as well which is base 180 power which is absolutely nuts and has some nice secondary effects with it as well Keldeo is going to be another mythical that will be appearing Keldeo again very strong Pokemon one of my all-time favorites going to be very exciting to use this Pokemon as well gets access to Aqua Jet it's got access to loads of fighting type coverage as well as you can imagine uh, justified ability so you do have that ability Ability to kind of beat up it and kind of set it up if you want. We've already started to see some combinations with it and things like GMAX Colossal as well. So you've got that Aqua Jet to proc the steam engine ability there and start sweeping with Colossal like we've seen in the past. Gonna have a Genesect as well. It's got the download ability as well, which is quite a, a decent ability for Genesect playing off your opponent's defense stats. Um, and then you're gonna have its kind of signature attack, which is Techno Blast going off its special side of its stats, which is it's a, a kind of strong split between both its, its physical and its special, but you do get access to the burn drives, uh, which you can get the, the, the fire, ice, uh, the douse, which is water, and then the shock, which is electric, which will chain Techno Blast into one of those types respectively, and is a 120 base special based attack. So decent stats as well to back it up. The only drawback I would say is uh, going against the other mythicals, this 99 speed stat doesn't help it massively, but still fast enough against a lot of the other Pokemon in the format. Then we've got Deance as well, Rock and Fairy. Got its signature attack, Diamond Storm, which is a 100 base rock type attack, which is pretty nice. Has a 50% chance as well to raise the user's defense by two stages, which is pretty good. So you could also combine that with something like Body Press um, that it does get access to and play off that kind of combination if you want, because it does get access to it. Clear Body as well means that its stats can't be lowered, which is always nice. Volcanian, another really interesting mythical, really interesting and type in fire and water type and has a water absorbability so you could play it with something with surf next to it just to restore that hp that it's got and it has that signature attack steam eruption well as well which is pretty much just like a worse accuracy stronger scald attack with that 30 percent chance to burn but i think with the typing here fire and water very interesting pokemon would be good to see how well that does and with the, the surge of kind of steel types in this format and with the kind of dominating ones that we're going to see from the mythical side of things i'd imagine any sort of fire typing will be quite useful in this format anyway 
Then we come to Magana. Magana is an absolutely ridiculously broken mythical and probably going to be one of the top tier ones that we'll see. I will do a tier list on the mythical. So if you'd like to see that, please drop a comment down below. Let me know and we'll get that out as soon as possible. But I would say S tier, Magana is going to be sitting right there. It's got the Soul Heart ability. So when any Pokemon on the field faints, it can be a partner Pokemon, it can be an opposing Pokemon it will get a special attack boost, which is absolutely nuts. So you could knock out your partner in Pokemon, get a special attack boost, knock out both uh, opposing Pokemon, get two special attack boosts. So you, you see what I mean. And it's got some pretty big attacks as well. It gets Flash Cannon to play off its uh, Steel typing. It's got Fleur Cannon as well, which is a signature attack from it. 90 accuracy. It does have some drawbacks with that lore and a special attack by two stages, but it does get access to things like Dazzling Gleam as well. So if you can boost this thing up, you can really start the snowball with Magena and you can kind of start to see how well it would perform in a doubles format. Uh, next one is Marshadow. I love Marshadow. Got that technician ability there. So anything under 60 or on 60 base attack, uh, it will get a 1.5 power boost to those. It's got a signature attack in Spectral Thief, which steals boosts from opposing Pokemon um, and then gives them to itself, which is quite useful, especially against things like Magena that are kind of reliant on on, on getting boosts and having that the ability to kind of snowball in battle. Uh, Marshadow is one of those Pokemon that can potentially come in and slow things down. It does have the fighting and ghost typing as well, which is pretty unique. Um, so a very interesting Pokemon and something I see getting a lot of play. And then you've got Zero Aura, uh, Volt Absorb, Signature Attack is Plasma Fist, and Zero Aura has a ridiculous speed stat, 143 base speed, which is absolutely nuts. And decent attack stat as well, but Plasma Fist Fist, turns all uh, normal type moves into electric for that turn um, and has a hundred base attack as well electric type attack so zero or a really interesting pokemon got some really good attacking options as well and uh, something i can see getting a lot of play uh, throughout the format and then we come to melmetal another one of these mythicals that's going to be now uh, available for us to use iron fist to boost its punch based attacks uh, giving a 1.2 power boost it's got the signature attack double iron bash which hits twice 30 percent chance to make the toggle flinch as well uh, 60 base power there but it is a physical attack coming off that huge 143 base attack stat it has got very slow speed so that is a great pokemon to play in trick room if you remember back i did a mythical battle with lou in a cast a kind of caster off battle uh, for players cup three i think and i used a combination of mew with trick room and then mel metal to uh to kind of play in trick room and then use transform to have two male metals on the field which is pretty cool so uh, if you you can search that you'll be able to find that battle it's a good example of how to use male metal in trick room uh, but again very strong pokemon has a lot of uh, moves that it can take advantage of also got body press to play off that base 143 stat pure steel typing as well which is nice and then we round off with the final mythical that we're going to have available to us which is zarudin bit of an interesting one one of the newer mythicals that we got access to in sword and shield dark and grass typing uh, has a bunch of good moves could be a good max mon it has access to acrobatics it gets solar blade which you can play with maybe groudon in there to get the the kind of instant attack off with that good base power on that attack darkest lariat um, and then also gets grassy glide which you could play in conjunction with playing it as a max mon or playing it alongside something like Rillaboom if you've got a team concept like that. But um, I would say probably not one of the stronger Pokemon in the format for the mythicals. Um, put it a bit alongside something like Celebi. But um, like I say, it'd be interesting to do a tier list of these new Pokemon that got available to us and um, see whether or not they, uh, where they, they sit in the table. But that kind of wraps up all the rules. We're going to have access to all of the restricted Pokemon as well. Like I've said, the box art Pokemon that we already had access to, but there are no restrictions on how many of these Pokemon you can use in a team. So it's going to be very hectic, very fast paced and very hard hitting. I'm excited for it. The first time that we're going to be able to use Mythicals in an actual VGC kind of format. Whether or not these rules are kind of pushed through to the official format through from September when the new season starts, 2022, 2023 season. 
season begins in September. We haven't got any sort of official confirmation of that yet, but it'd be very exciting to see this as the new VGC format to kind of see us off until Scarlet and Violet is released and we get those new format rules for those new games when they drop. As soon as we get any official confirmation on any VGC news in regards to these, I will let you know on the channel. So like I've said before, make sure you are subscribed, hit that notification bell so you stay up to date with when any of this news drops and we'll update it. Like I've said, I will be doing content on this new rule set. It's very exciting. It's going to be fun to play with the mythicals. I definitely don't want to miss out on that. So we'll be doing a lot of content around different mythicals, how they can be interacted within teams, what they can bring to the party and how to use them and things like that and doing some teams as well. So let me know your thoughts on the new rule set down below. Are you excited for it? Are you not really looking forward to it at all? You just burnt out from Sword and Shield wing for Scarlet and Violet. Let me know down below. I would love to hear your opinions and thoughts on this new news. And also let me know about that tier list. I've mentioned it a few times, but I would like to hear. So we'll get something up later in the week or as maybe even a little bit sooner depending on if you'd like to see that but thank you for tuning in friends hope you found this useful please remember to drop a like on the video it does really help and i will see you all for another video very soon so until then take care bye, -bye.